stamps. All right, so we're going to create a stamp and there are several ways to make stamps. This method right here is called z-depth information. Okay, so we're basically uh, looking at the change of z and using that to make an alpha. All right, so here's how this method works. And keep in mind, I'm keeping this pretty loose uh, because it is a rather lengthy way to make a stamp, but it's very accurate. So you can do just about anything here as far as the sculpt is concerned, as long as it's top down. So I could go in here and let's say just grab the sculpt tool and turn this down just a little bit. Actually, let's let's try and search for wax here. And let's make sure wax is just wax. It doesn't have any. Good. So here I'm just creating a bunch of chaos and keep it within the center. And I'm trying not to make borders. So some of this stuff is just going to dead end out. I'll turn off wireframe. It's kind of annoying to look at. And then I'll grab my other tools. Let's say I use Sculpt and just once in a while I'll hit this and if I want to flatten those out I could using the flatten tool Okay, so you can see this is not very high, and I could probably amplify this up a little bit. Let's just bring it off the surface. And then I'm going to turn this into a stamp. Well, to do that, I go into Perspective and turn that off to Orthographic, go into the top view, and then I'm just going to get it zoomed in enough and go into Render, oh wait, Windows, Viewport Filters, and turn it on Screen Distance. Okay, so there's Screen Distance, and then I'm going to go to Render, and I'm going to save screen image. Make sure it's 1024 by 1024. Save the image out and I'm going to save this on my desktop as a TIFF. So I'll make sure it's a TIFF and we'll call it uh, junk1 <laughs> period TIFF. Now when I save that out Notice it says save with transparency. That was on. So just make sure that was on. Now there's one thing that you have to do and trust me when I say there's nobody going to be breaking into your computer. C drive, program files, Autodesk, find your Mudbox directory, go down to stamps, right click on it and go to properties. Go to security, edit, add, everyone. So type in everyone here. I have an everyone already and then I gave him full control. This allows programs like Photoshop to be able to write into that directory. Let's go over and open up that file that I made, junk1. You can see that there's not much information here uh, to look at but if I was to put a new layer down and fill it with black you can see that the change. Okay. I'm going to get rid of that. Also, 
uh, it likes 16-bit, so I'm going to give it 16-bit. Now, by changing it from 8-bit to 16-bit, it doesn't really give it 16-bit. It has to be 16-bit to begin with. I'm just pacifying the program. Just know 16-bit is it's got a better depth ratio or a larger gambit of black and white. So that gives you um, a higher degree of detail when it comes down to uh, the alpha. So let's go with save as and we're going to save it into that directory. C drive, program files. Let's go into Autodesk, Mudbox, Stamps. And I'll call this like Weave 1. Okay, so give it a real name. And I'll use layers. Even though there's only one layer, know that. And I'll put none for the compression. Save transparency is on. All right, let's go into Mudbox and let's make a new scene. Now, anytime I launch the Mudbox, that'll be down here below, but it won't be there just yet. So let's take this cube, get the level nine, and we're going to have to first add the stamp the first time. This is weave one. Let's go into our sculpt brush. And I like to put the stamp spacing at like 92%. That's 90% of the, the actual map showing. And let's just go to the last stamp. And let's start sculpting. And you can see I have now that stamp and I can make this weird surface noise that I have no idea what I would use it for, but I now have it at my disposal. And because I used the alpha grab, it's very, very clean. Very clean. And no matter what I do with it, let's say I had like a lot of strength, it wouldn't have any noise. It's just very, very clean looking. So if well, the next thing I got to show you is how to do this via image from like the internet and compare the two to show you what, you know, what the advantages of sculpting it and capturing it via grab compared to grabbing it from the internet and turning it into a, a stamp. All right. So that's stamp from alpha. Enjoy.